Newcastle Thriller at Home Park, and your match commentator in the southwest is Gary Bloom. So a three-man Plymouth defensive wall. Chilt says a little bit more to the left. Away. Driven in by Hemsworth to the back post. It's a free header and the first goal of the game for Scarborough. Ashjan on target with a header. They were watching the big central defenders, Karen and Hurst. And it's John Ashjan. And here's the goal again. Curled in by Hemsworth. And nobody picked up little John Ashjan on the back post. His fourth goal of the season. Skinner. Skinner again. That's a good shot by Skinner. Beaten away by Mark Evans. And arguably Plymouth's best chance of the match to date. Did ever so well to hold the ball up. And from about 25 yards, put in that stinging shot. Now here's an opening. Joyce, Dalton to his left. Here's Dalton, a chance for an equaliser. And it's still in. Plymouth are level. Plymouth's record signing, Paul Dalton, gives them a foothold in the Coca-Cola Cup. Dalton playing with a renewed zip in his step now as Thompson kills that one in. Jules, he's got it. A second for Scarborough. Once again, the cross to the back post causes problems for Plymouth. And Mark Jules scores. In the end, it was a very simple goal. Thompson's cross, who was picking up the left winger? Nobody. Steady pass by Morrison. Castle. Getting away from Foreman, who's back defending. Marshall. Has Castle available. Pool to Nugent. It's got it over the line. Plymouth are level. Morrison fires it in. Castle. Oh, it's struck the upright. Send the post. might have scored the goal to take Plymouth into the last 16 of the Coca-Cola Cup. Everything, including the rain now, bearing down on Peter Shilton's goal. Ashjan, oh, it's 3-3! It's his second goal of the game. Once again, a headed goal in this match. It came off Morrison, and Ashjan's perfect header beat Peter Shilton. Six goals now in this cup tie. They're a good team, Plymouth, if we sit after them and let them play. Uh, I thought we pressurised them well first half. Uh, second half, we didn't do that, but all credit to Plymouth. They came back, they got into the game. We didn't pass the ball second half, which, which is what we're good at. And, uh, you know, <coughs> I felt that... Uh, at the end of the day, if we could come here and, and still be in the tie at the end of the match, uh, I, I was going to be more than happy. First of all, John, let's clear up the uh, problem of the first goal. I said it was your header, but uh, I think somebody got a touch on it, didn't they? Unfortunately, I said yes, go down to Chris Curran. Um, Chris uh, got the final touch. It was about a yard in, uh, in front of the line, and Chris, uh, Chris dove in and got the goal. And there's no doubt about the equaliser, the third Scarborough goal. That was yours, wasn't it? Uh, I'm claiming that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was... Uh, free kick and it's been just flicked on I'm just sneaked in at the back post with a header I mean uh, Shilton had no chance really I understand you've promised the lads fish and chips as a present uh, if they won or drew this game is that right yeah if we won they got fish and chips we've drawn so unfortunately they only get chips <laughs> well, let's hope it's champagne fish and chips next week when they play the replay